Y'all are never going to, you know, just because you was there 13 years, you were there 13 years, but you can never say that you had somebody working there for 13 years besides a family member, okay? Besides a family member or hell, one year. You can never say somebody's been there one year, six months. That's not a family member. Anyways, so now, after I done got tired of the, the, the mistreating and all of this stuff, I finally, um, it was another, another the last incident that took the cake, okay, that, that really was like, you know what, I'm about to quit, I don't need this shit, whatever, whatever. Now, it was an incident that happened to where I came to work like I was scheduled to, and this other guy that worked there, he called out. Now, it's not no one's fault that they don't check their damn text messages or they don't pick up their phone when someone calls because guess what? When they need someone to come in and, and fill in, if they can't make it or something, they pick up their phone and call or text. But when someone else needs, you know what I'm saying, to call out or going to be late, they never seem to find that damn phone to pick it up or text back or, or, or pick up the phone. Now, however, this one particular day, um, yeah, they never take this person back or call this person. They did it at the last minute. Now, I was there for already an hour waiting for somebody to come open the damn door. Matter of fact, the same incident that happened with me and the other guy happened on this damn time. On the same day, at the same time, the same day everything so i was there until basically one o'clock we opened at 12 o'clock on sundays and so um the daughter finally called me and was like okay i'm coming um to open up the shop so and so is not gonna be in i'm like okay i've been here i've been calling y'all letting y'all know i'm here who's gonna come open the building so i leave and when i leave somebody they call and say that they're gonna come and open the building so i'm like all right so when i get back to the building they finally call back and say, or text back and say, okay, don't worry about it. We're going to close for the day. Same bullshit they did last time. So I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't got to go to work today. Simple. So I get my schedule. My schedule say every day of the week I'm on. Every day. I got a whole full schedule because everybody done quit. I got a whole full schedule. Now, I go in on that, uh, on that first day back to work. Because she ended up, mind you, because she ended up closing. I go back to work. Oh, you ain't get the new schedule? I'm like, no. I look at my phone. It's a text. I got all those days off. One day on. I say, well, I, I ain't say nothing. I ordered me something to eat and I politely walked out. Okay? The manager, the boss ain't say nothing to me. She ain't say, okay, well, this is why I closed. Because I felt like I lost money again. So I wanted to take it out out on y'all she ain't do that no communication none with her employees none she had attitude she ain't look, she ain't say hi she ain't say bye she ain't say nothing came back in the next day order something to eat because mind you i had that whole day that whole week off except for one day which was a friday okay so i came in that wednesday when i when i got my new schedule i, I still got something to eat and i left came in that thursday i got something to eat and I came in that Friday. I was supposed to go to work at 5. I came in around 12. Got something to eat. Now, I'm just sitting back because I'm like, this bitch have the nerve to not say shit to me. Not even phone call. Not even text. Not a goddamn thing. Okay? Of why the hell I got one day on the goddamn schedule when I was here on time. Alright? So now... On top of that bullshit, I'm like, that is just so unprofessional. That's not right at all. That is not right whatsoever. So I waited. I mean, which ended up being a problem for them, I guess, supposedly was going around. that I The problem was that I called out um, and said I wasn't going to work there anymore two hours prior. I mean, technically... Be, be, if you're sick, if if you're not going to make it to work, you they all they need is two hours. Hell, what the fuck you want me to do? Give you goddamn a week? No, because it happened that same week. No, what I did, 
I called them at three. I texted them and I said, I rather prefer to, I prefer to be a customer and not an employee because first of all, I don't like how you guys treat me. I do not like how you guys talk to me. I do not appreciate me having one day on the schedule when I have a family to feed. I can't pay my bills with $20, okay? Hell, it wasn't that much any damn way every week, all right? I cannot take care of a damn dog with the amount of money that was there. I just was doing it just for a little extra money, period. Okay, so now, um, that bullshit is gone. So, okay, and I, I waited. I, I still went there for three weeks after I stopped working there. Three weeks after I stopped working there, okay? And the funny part about it is that she wasn't saying nothing to me the whole three weeks. Why? Because I done quit. Everybody else done quit, okay? And so now it leaves, like I said, it leaves for her and her damn kids to work overtime and bringing in people that don't even damn work there to damn fill in the spots, all right? So, now she pissed. She's extra pissed, which I don't give a damn. So, now, this one day, I finally go in there, and she has the audacity to tell her daughter to stop me and ask me about a fucking hat. All right? A goddamn it fucking hat that say chicken on it. Okay? Who the fuck gonna walk around with a goddamn chicken hat? Not me, bitch. No. Not fucking me. All right? So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to find the hat and I'm going to bring it to you. Bam. I was going there for a whole nother week straight. Nothing about this goddamn hat. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I finally go back this last time. Okay? So now it's her there. The daughter not there. It's her there. So now I, feel, I guess she feel like, okay, this bitch been coming to eating my damn food, which I've been paying my damn money. Okay? And she ain't saying nothing to me. She ain't bringing back my damn chicken hat, which I think she asked me about this hat. I'd be to be spiteful, to be uh, to a a bitter bitch, all of that. All right. So now, hell, she asked me about this damn hat again. I said, listen, lady, I don't have your damn. I don't. I told you if when I find your hat, I will bring your damn hat. Now, if I don't find it, what 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 do we go from there? She's like, oh well, no. I I said that last. But I was like, yo, I don't have your, I, I got to find your hat. When, when I find it, I'll bring it. Okay? Period. She's like, I'm like, well, I done been coming here. That hat is literally $25. She gave it to me because it was, I guess, part of her uniform. Really, it really wasn't part of the uniform. She just gave it to us because we did not have to wear, we did not wear the hat. I didn't wear the damn hat any damn way. So, now, she goes and say, um, it's her property. And I'm like, yo, listen, you harassing me about a $25 hat when your food high as hell and I've been coming here every day, twice a day, twice, twice a day, five days a week, for three weeks after I quit. Do the math. God damn it. Do the math. Oh, well, no, it's still my property. Any job that you you go to and that you quit or, or get fired from, you they, they, they're going to want their stuff from. I'm like, well, hell, every job that I had, I ain't take them nothing back. And they damn sure did not harass me about it either. Well, if I don't have my stuff by New Year's, you're gonna you're not going to be able to come here. I say, well, I don't damn need this, nigga. I, I, I don't need this. I, this is a want. I will not cry if I'm not able to come here. This is a want, ma'am. Okay? This is not a need. I'm, I must not have this. I would not die if I don't have this. So by you saying that and by you threatening me, well, it's not a threat. It's not Technically, it is a threat. It is a threat. You're threatening to ban me from this restaurant if I don't bring you your damn hat. I say, well, ma'am, the hat is probably all dirty, makeup, sweat, probably smell like ass. Who damn knows? Probably got lice in it. What, what if I had lice? What if I had lice? What if I had dandruff? You, are you going to sell that hat? So that's how I know that you're just trying to get this hat just to be spiteful and to be a bitter, nasty bitch. That's it, okay? So, we're still going back and forth. Let me tell you how, how unprofessional this bitch is because, first of all, it's customers in a goddamn restaurant. Who the fuck argues from way in a kitchen area? And who are you from way in the kitchen area? At a god doggone 
ex-employee slash customer with customers in the damn building. Who does that? A ghetto ass person. Ghetto and bitter. Okay? Ghetto and fucking bitter. So, now we're still arguing at this moment. And I'm like, all right, so um, if I don't find this hat, all right, if I don't find this hat, now where do we go? Where, where do we go from here if I don't find this hat? All right, because I can guarantee you I might not find it because I probably threw it away. If I don't quit, what the hell I need? I'm, I'm, it's not going to, it's no, it serves me no purpose to try to keep your hat, ma'am. It serves no purpose because I'm not going to walk around with a fucking hat that says chicken wing. I am not. Who the fuck? What? I am not going to walk around with a chicken wing hat on, ma'am. Okay? I'm not. So it serves absolutely no purpose of me to try to keep your damn hat. All right? Now, I love their damn food. Don't get, me, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. I love their damn food. That's why I was going to all that damn time. I'm like, yo, let me tell you something. I've been spending all this money and you're harassing me about a $25 hat. Well, I've been having people come here for two, for 15, 13 years. I'm like, well, ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't know you 13 years ago. But I guarantee you none of those customers that have been coming here for 13 years, okay, never came here twice a goddamn day for weeks at a time. Never. All right? So... That's that shit there. And then one more goddamn issue. So I, a couple of days pass by, okay, a couple of days. And I go to call. I get somebody else to call for me, all right, To to because you can't ban everybody. You can't ban everybody because you don't, you never know. The only reason how she would know my order is because of what I normally order. I only order the same thing when I go there. Only order the same thing when I go there. I don't order nothing else, all right? And so they know this other person who, who 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 actually called. All right. So I get a call back talking about from, from the cashier saying, Oh, I was told that I can know I can't serve, I can't uh take your order because un unless you bring the hat back. So I'm like, uh, and, unless I bring the hat back, all right, say less, bet, whatever. She was busy. I couldn't talk to her. So, right at that point, moment in time, I'm like, I'm just thinking all kind of devilish things. <laughs> I'm heated at the moment. I'm just thinking all kind of stuff in my head of what the fuck I want to say, do, all of this because I'm so fired up because she is making a big deal about a 20 five dollar hat when i was about to spend 25 dollars or i done spun way over 25 dollars every day that i go there i spend 25 dollars or more so what the hell is the issue about ma'am okay but anyways y'all that was my why I quit story time, okay? It was an effed up situation, but you know what I'm saying? It's all good because I'm on to bigger and better things. It's 2019, and guess what? I don't have time for the shenanigans. I will not be going back today. That goddamn place is her goddamn lost, okay? So, yeah. Mitch, if you like this story, um, if you like the story time, let me know down in the comments and let me know what other story times you would like, okay? Also, make sure you hit that post notification button so when I upload, you guys will be the first to get the video. Press that like button. Press that subscribe. Tell your mama, tell your friends, tell your daddy, uncle, sister, brother, whoever to tell another mother flipping flippin friend. All right? And until the next video, I'm out this. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. My niggas are savage.